Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solas. Wait, that room wasn't there before. I don't think. Never Harding must have put my pack here. Makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary. Guess I can spare a few moments to unpack my things. Varric and his life lessons. I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look in it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. A damn good-looking hero, if I do say so. The Antom commander I took this from thought occupying Trevisa was the same as owning it. I showed him how wrong he was. Freed a bunch of prisoners that night, including Varric. That's also the night the Crows kicked me out of Antiva for carrying out unauthorized operations. It was the right thing to do, but it did bring the Antom down hard on the Crows. I probably could have made fewer waves. A peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He told me the scroll went back to even before Tevinter. Said that elves had a rich history, even more than the rest of us. Many humans look down on us, even though elves were here first. Nice to have someone see how much our people have done. The tools every professional scoundrel needs when learning the trade. I spent as much time picking locks and mixing poisons as I did training with blades or a bow. That precision. Every reagent measured perfectly. The feel of the lock opening. It all just felt right. Right. That's better. Now, how do I connect to Solus? Just sleep or... Relaxing. Maybe if I clear my mind. so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. I am, after all, remembered as the god of lies, treachery, and rebellion. I'm not here to debate whether what you said was accurate. But to be clear, it was accurate. I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Alcanan and Gelanain.
I'm not in charge of everyone. I'm just leading my little team until Varric is back on his feet. I understand your fear. Declare yourself the leader, and others may think you power-hungry. No better than those you oppose. I didn't say I was afraid. Back in the Crows, I had to deal with the Antom invasion. One night, I saw a unit getting ready to transport prisoners to another city. It was way too large for us to hit. But you did so anyway, using unconventional tactics to confuse the Antam and free the prisoners. How do you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know I'm not interested in a fancy title. But when something needs doing, I do it. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. The rest is in prison. Until they release it. I don't understand. Elgernon and Gelanane were elves like you, right? Why would they want to blight the world? It is my fault. As the Dread Wolf, I was a thorn in their side. When my efforts weakened their grasp on the elven people, they grew frustrated, then desperate. And turned to the blight. Once the corruption took hold of them, they were blind to its horror. It was just another source of power for them. Now they would blight the world without hesitation, and call us backward and foolish for opposing them. What would they need to do to free the Blight? And how do we stop them from doing it? They will need to pierce the Veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Followers. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? I'm not going to bend a knee to blighted, murdering monsters just because their ears are pointed like mine. I don't think many other elves are going to either. Agreed. Elganan and Gilanane care little for the elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies, the cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Algonan and Gilanain. You want me to pick fights with tyrants and bullies? Sounds fun. I gave no orders. All I offer are suggestions. I'm on it. What else? The Veravas, the Lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere, if you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard? It's bad, Varric. If you'd seen Demetis crossing... The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I 
I can't do what you do. I've barely been holding it together in the short time you've been out. You don't need to do what I do. You just need to get it done. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? I watched you pick apart an entire Antom patrol in Treviso. They outnumbered you twenty to one. They were overconfident. I took advantage. Which no one else did. Crows didn't appreciate the heat it brought down, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for Leeds. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Blara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. We've got you. But if one assassin's good... Why not two? You have someone in mind? Your most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. The demon's a legend. I've always wanted to meet him. Happy to help. The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and Venatori. There's been fewer stories in recent years, but your bosses would know. The Talons? They're going to give me an earful. If you want to look elsewhere. I'll set up a meeting. What else? A trip home. Back to Minrathus. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. Tevintir authority... Won't help and can't be trusted. Which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. You sure we can trust these shadow dragons? You've got a better shot with them than most in the city. So, we talk to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Minrathus. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood either, if Balar is ready for us. Yeah. Should check how things are going. Can I, uh... Mostly? Mirrors are funny things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality, no matter what you try. 
there's a trick. Control that distortion. There you have it. What is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this Alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the Veer of Us, Freedom of Ways. I wonder... If you have an idea what that place is, Ballara, share it. We don't have time to waste. Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alike, and it is not. Either you found some way to get into the lighthouse without us seeing, or you've been here all along. Not sure which one worries me more. The wolf's fang. You carry it now. Old paths. A new journey. Through there. I will wait. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not. But we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more... sad. Just because something's sad doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. I can think of an example or two that proves that. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook, and then we can figure out what's going on. <laughs> 